hello 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 my friends how we doing how's the late stream gang what's going on hello welcome on in lovely to have y'all out here happy tuesday i don't say that often i don't say that often on stream i gotta gotta remember what what day we're on over here welcome on in everybody welcome 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 lovely to have you out here we're doing just a little like early stream because i'm gone wednesday and friday so this is the stream of the week and for those of you who are here you gotta catch it and that's great welcome on in everybody how we doing uh, diana what's going on wicked stacy hello how you doing thank you so much for the dono before stream started as well Alinea, what's going on? Happy, what's going on? Noah, how we doing? Chroma Holster, hello, hello. Melina, Frostbite, what's up? Yentl, hello. Almost said Wednesday, almost dead. Almost dead. I don't know if it was Wednesday or Friday, because technically it's my Friday. Woo! Uh, Eggs, how we doing? Good to have you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Cap, welcome on in. Good to have you. Got the shirt right. Oh my gosh, I, I feel like I wear this one a lot. I probably wear this one more than I should. It's just a cozy shirt, you know. 6,000 days. We're almost at 6,500 days, actually. So we're getting up there. We're, mo we're moving along. I'm good. What, what, what about you? I'm doing pretty good. I feel like I've had a pretty good day today. I wrapped up it's another SOS video. Thank you so for enough with e. very, very excited about that one. So there's going to be a new SOS video coming out this weekend. Uh, Marcos has got to edit it. Well, uh, I am out of town. Speaking of which, I need to shoot a note his way. Let him know I finished recording it. Uh, da 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 da. Recording done. We'll upload a footage after stream. Ah, so yeah, you get a you get an extra video this week. There you go. Missed my membership before you came in. I saw that, Jordan. Thank you so very much for the four months, my dude. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I was gonna I was gonna get there. I I usually come back to reading those throughout after we get back in there. How do you feel? SOS is performing on paper, like. The videos are not doing well, but I think it's proving that there's a fun concept that we can do for shorter SMPs and making it really, I think it's a lot of, it's setting stones to grow off of is kind of how I keep thinking of SOS and the way that nice I'm kind of like you. putting in my brain of, I'm very proud of what I've done to create this SMP series. And I think we're just getting some weird YouTube thing going on that's causing it to not be as good as it should be i think this is my youtube tinfoil hat right now i don't have any to put on my head right now but I, my tinfoil hat is saying that uh we should not have named it sos i think sos in my brain it's there's this weird connection between health and safety things that youtube typically does not push that sort of environment unless it actually truly is a health and safety thing so my brain is saying SOS over here is somehow hitting that because if you were to put like heart attack SMP or something like that or um like different healthcare man maneuvers that like you need to be able to search for how to do it very easily and find it right there um it's I I think that's what's causing it because there is full-on things about like uh where other one other people have uploaded videos and had common like healthcare terms in them and they haven't been related to the actual thing and then their videos tanked so i think sos unfortunately is like a little bit hitting into that because everything the stats of the people who actually watch the videos this is my most watched series like people who click on the video to watch it are watching it the average view duration is almost three times that of a hardcore video which is nuts like it's okay not three times almost Oh, it's over two times like my average view duration right now on an SOS video for a 45 minute video is almost 27 minutes my average view duration on a hardcore video is like 13 to 14 they're both in 40 to 45 minute episodes but the issue is is that there's just less people actually clicking on the SOS video and it's also like but it's click through rate is higher if not equal to what the hardcore gets it's just less impressions are being sent out to new viewers. So people, it's mostly just like existing audiences clicking on it. And the people who are watching it are watching it forever. It's cool. Um, but it's just the unfortunate side of YouTube's just not pushing it to new audiences at all, which is weird. 
but who knows phantom zone thank you so much for the two months my dude thank you thank you thank you hope you have a great vacation me too i'm looking forward to it i'm excited to get out of here for a little while and go take a break from all the youtube things and just step back and not focus on youtube for a bit <laughs> but i'm excited if i'm being honest it's not it's is that it's not really for me but it's cool that you try something i mean that's totally fine i'm not i make content for me i don't make content for you all the fact that you all just enjoy the content that i produce that's great but all in all is i'm making content for me um and that's the way i'm going to keep going because i think that longevity for me wanting to continue doing it that's like the key element to it so that's the kind of the way it goes Next series name Minecraft 911. What's your emergency? Exactly, Burb. That sounds like a great idea. I think we could run that. We could probably do that one. Rex, thank you so much for the dono. I do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, da, da, da. Hope you have a great vacation. Yeah, we leave tomorrow morning. I got, I got like I'm. I just finished recording, and then I go to. Then I got to go pack, to and then to get every, the house songs. ready. Thank you for the stream but tonight, heart. I have not. I have not. I. I. I'm not the type of person who that he sees like, ooh, musician put out new music. Let's go listen to it. I mostly just like wait for it to come across any of the playlists that I listen to and then I'll see it there. Um, but yeah, I mostly go for vibes. I don't go for specific musicians and artists and things like that when I'm listening to music. So I'm one of those weirdos. I, I'm like, I'm the type of person that needs music in the background because I need noise in order to focus. I'm all, yeah, I'm that weirdo. Um, and then from there, I don't really care too much about what it is as long as it's like hidden on a chill vibe. <laughs> good afternoon or good evening or good morning, wherever you are. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's 2 p.m. over here. So we're we are chilling. But my friends, we've got a lot of stuff to do today. We got a lot of hardcore Minecrafting things to do. Uh, first and foremost, one, wings are almost dead. So big issue there. Two is um, all my shovels are almost dead. So no, and my hose uh so we need to go repair everything <laughs> first step is uh actually i need that back because i need to get a little just, uh, just a few rockets oh my gosh it is leggy in this world right now what is going on oh my god 50 fps oh, i guess it's still loading i just i literally just logged in i i finished recording the sos video five minutes too. before i went before i click go live which is why it took me a bit okay now that the chunks are in here i mean this is always really low laggy uh blocky are you too. you're in here right i think i saw you saying something earlier did putting the honeycomb on all the signs to lock them in did that actually help or does anybody know Please if that actually too. helps with it because i have a bunch of signs in my world i wonder if that's causing a lot of the legs i love using signs for detailing um, so I know you mentioned in the, for the supporter server that you're putting it honeycomb on all of the signs. Don't think so. Okay. I didn't know if it like took it out of an editable loot pool. Speaking of which though, Jewel, thank you so much for the five gift subs. I appreciate it. I feel like you would actually know the answer to that one. Uh, Wicca, Stacy, thank you so much for the gift membership as well. We got enough durability to make it to the end. We're fine. I heard it does help. Okay. So maybe we can try that. I'm trying to do different things. Like we got rid of all the chests on the last stream, which that helped a lot. That gained another 20 FPS. Um, so we took out every single empty chest in the stone storage, and that was huge. 82 to there. Because I mean, when we're out here, I, I am getting, I don't know if y'all could see it when I first opened it. That said a thousand FPS. And then at my base, I get 50. <laughs> so, it, yeah. Sometimes Minecraft got a Minecraft. Okay, I will not bleed your ears out on this one. Don't worry. We will take hostile creatures down to 1%. And then we need to take this to here. And actually, you are fully repaired. One of the few fully repaired tools. We got to fix everything. We got to fix all of this. Actually, I'll leave that there. We're just going to chill while I get the elytra repaired up, and then we'll go chest piece, so we can go a little bit more ham. 50 with Nvidium? I know, right? 50 with Nvidium at my base. This is so much faster than the Wither Skeleton Farm. Okay, now we can be a little bit safer. Pleased to meet you. More risky. Oh, 
Oh, there's an Angie boy in here. Uh. Jembriald, thank you so much for the donor. I appreciate it. I'll let that thing read itself out when it gets around here. Lizasaurus, thank you so much for the 31 months. Hope you're doing well today. Okay. Uh, Ender Pearls. I don't. Actually, I don't want any of you. Thank you. Uh, that can go out here. That can go out there. We can do this and this. And is that a. Uh, ah, another one down. Another shovel doesn't bite the dust. It actually uh, quite opposite. It's quite very alive. Do you have a tutorial for the Enderman farm? I didn't make this one up myself. Uh, I believe this is the Shulkercraft design. Well, at least the design they feature in their video. Um, so you can go check that out. It's just a very basic Enderman farm. The big thing is you want the Enderman to drop a certain number of blocks. I can't remember what it exacts. I think it's 27 blocks. So you. they're spawning up there and then they just fall down because there's an Endermite in the middle. Endermen hate Endermites, so they run towards it and you have trapdoors, so they just run into the pit. It's Yentl, thank you so much for the 24 I'm months. Two years. The size of your current projects. Don't want you burnt out like building with f -Wick. That's big hugs. I big definitely am at a little bit of a phase right now. Uh, thank you again for the donor. I appreciate it. I'm at a little bit of a phase right now where I am kind of in like a, I need to find a bit of new direction in this world, even though I have all the projects going on. So I've been feeling a little in that phase, but it's weird because it's in the phase of, I have so many things that I want to do in this world, but they're all massive projects that I don't, and I don't have the physical time in my life right now to be able to dedicate an entire month to working on something to get it to the scale that I want it to be done. So it's actually, I have so many projects that I want to do, but I literally don't have the time to be able to do them right now, which is where I keep getting caught, which is a bummer. Um, but as far as burnout goes, I'm taking the approach on this one a lot different. And a lot of the burnout with building with whip actually came from the fact that I was doing it for so many years and my channel, I think like 50 times over grew because I started that before I hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube and we ended it at nearly 250,000 subscribers on YouTube. So whatever that would be, um, 250 times growth. And so the big part of the burnout there for me was I felt that I was in this weird state of, I was doing all these new things or not new things, but just things that I'd done before and content that was like four or five years old that had originally happened when I only had a few hundred subs. So it was kind of a weird one of just being 300 something episodes into that. But yeah, I don't know. I, I don't feel the burnout on this one at all. If anything, I feel like I've grown so much as a builder and I'm really enjoying just like flexing that building muscle a little bit and really just pushing things. But then that also comes with a lot of the major projects. Like, I want to get back out here to the end and do something insane. I've got all the ideas in my brain, and I just need to get out here and actually, like, sink a month into doing it. So that might be when SOS wraps up. Uh, if there's time in between that and the next SMP starting, I think I'm just going to live in the end and just make this absurd upgrade to our tree here. So that's kind of something I'm thinking about. Uh, Yentl, thank you so much again for the 24 months. Pre preparing for plush hunt on server flip plush hunt on the server and celebrating two years of being a member yay purple tree guess you couldn't wait either <laughs> yeah i snuck a little stream in here i know sorry apologies apologies we can just end stream right now that's a problem for anybody you're not supposed to be out here uh ray thank you so much for the gift member i do appreciate that as well thank you thank you thank you when's the next sos stream it'll be next week I want to try and find some, like, joint stream stuff to do with people. Just, like, some goofy things to do. But I, it was fun working on the base. It was really cool building the village center on stream. That was fun. My friends, if you're ever on the YouTube side, by the way, haven't mentioned it at all, just because I'm kind of curious to see how it works. Uh, but we have a 1,000 people in here, and we have just hit 400 likes. 420, actually. Um, so I know I'm asking y'all to do something terrible in the internet world, but please nice leave a like and... Let's get a little bit closer to that 1,000 like arenas because we got a thousand people in here. Would very much appreciate it. Uh, Liz, thank you so much for the gift sub. I appreciate it. 
How do you make your own server? That's not something I'm gonna be able to help you out with right here, Lion. You'll you're gonna wanna go search that up yourself. There's a lot of videos that you can get help with how to set up a Minecraft server, how to walk through it, and all those things. You can there's a lot better places you can find information than asking in a live stream. Unless it's somebody actually doing that, then you can ask, but I'm not gonna be able to stop right now and do that for you. Who do you hope wins March Madness? I'll be honest, I haven't watched... I haven't watched a basketball game, maybe outside the Olympics, uh, since the Seattle Sounders left Seattle to move to Oklahoma. So, um, yeah. Maybe I went to, like, one basketball game in college, but basketball's never really been my, my fave sport. So I don't even, I don't even know what teams are still in it. Just say Purdue. Is that, is that the cool person answer right now is you hope Purdue's winning? Or is that the normie answer of the people who just want like the surefire bracket winner hoping Purdue wins? I had a movie day for my uni class, but was canceled. So just so glad you decided to stream today. What university classes do you just get to watch a movie in class? I don't think I ever... Actually, no, that's a lie. We did have... I took a human resources class my senior year. One of my favorite teachers ever. He was awesome. Um, but we... One day, he was like, Yeah, so we're going to watch some li like American TV shows today that are really, really good examples of HR lawsuits that you might actually have to deal with where they've done it from a very satirical approach, but we're gonna pause and break down what HR rules are broken inside of each of these. So we spent a day like watching, watched an episode from How I Met Your Mother, we watched an episode from Friends, we watched an episode of The Office, it was great, it was so good. That was like a whole week of classes just watching different TV shows. All right, we're almost done. Run to the last tools. I will get out of here. Yeah, it was good. I will say the only better one was... Um... Does that not have mending? It doesn't have mending on it? Wow. <laughs> we would have sat here for a long time trying to fix that up. <laughs> I think I have enough experience to get this to cap out. Yeah. All right, we definitely don't want to throw that away. Uh, where's my... There's my pickaxe. Where's my... We actually want a non-silk touch shovel right now because we want to get dirt, not not grass blocks. Put that back in the offhand. That's the axe that will keep on us. Pickaxe can go in there. The axe can go there. Silk touch, silk touch, non-silk touch. Okay, that's fine. And we'll put our hose away. Swap to the elytra before we do a bad. I, I just, that's, of all the ways to go out in a hardcore world, that's not the way I want to go out. Thank you, boys. You've been amazing. You know, I just, I just don't want to go out by jumping off into the void by not having my elytra on. That's just, that's just the ultimate. Uh-uh. Don't want it to happen. What sports do you watch? Um, not many. I follow, like, Husky football just because my family's pretty into it. Uh, which is college football, um, not not soccer, like American football. Um, oh, I guess World Spawn puts me up here. So we have that, and detail. then yeah, I do that. That's kind of that's most of it. I want to get into watching hockey. I would love. I'd actually love to get into watching a little bit more. Like, I've been really wanting to make it out to a Seattle Kraken game or our local hockey team here. I think that could be pretty fun, but we don't really watch many sports. Like I, I mostly, do you like Seattle Mariners? I find baseball to be so boring. <laughs> and I have a family member who played, uh, not from the Mariners, but like even like, and so I like kind of picked up a little bit about the game and how I understand it's just from chatting with them. But I, I just, I find baseball so boring. You haven't seen the Kraken yet? No, I haven't. I haven't made it to the stadium. Um, I've watched some of their games, like sitting in a bar or something like that, but I haven't made it to their stadium yet. 
I've been to the stadium for comedy shows, but I've never been out there for an actual Kraken game, which is unfortunate. Okay. Um, baseball is more fun to watch in person. That's the only way I'll watch baseball. It's literally the only way. How are the puppies? They're good. They're getting a little bummed because they're realizing that we're leaving to go on vacation. They've noticed suitcases being moved around, and so now Nova's all sad. All right, we're gonna try this before we move on. We're gonna we're gonna try some leg prevention. I have no idea how many signs are around here, but we're gonna we're gonna see. Not many signs. Actually, not many signs at all. Yeah, I don't think it'll help that much. There's not too many signs out here. Why did I think there are a bunch? We'll get rid of this banner. There's no, absolutely no need for pillager banner out here. Oh, you only have to wax one side. You don't have to wax them both. That's kind of nice. Excuse me. That's why I grabbed so much. So I grab so much string or not string that's honeycomb I wish I had that much string man that'd be great um let's just do a little a little loopy loop around see if we can find some I don't think this is gonna be like fixing it all but you know any little bit that we can do to make it uh yeah now that you can edit signs you can also put beeswax on them to make them not editable so you can't edit it, 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 it the sign but like we have a lot of these I use them on carts a lot, so I guess there are a lot of signs. When you start looking at how I use them to actually detail in the world, it does kind of make sense that there's a lot of signs around. <laughs> I just use them as like a thin beam. There's none in here, though. A lot of those chests we can honestly get rid of. I don't really... I don't use this system anymore. I really loved having that system, but I just don't need it. Like, I just... There's so much going... Do we see any signs? Yeah, there's a lot of signs along the edge. Stop from clicking and change the text. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, that I need to go out to the... Um, oh, what did I just... I think I ate a slice of cake. No. We need to go into the lumber mill because there's probably a lot in there. I also should probably turn this farm off because these foxes are just... They're just producing more berries than I will ever be able to eat. Is this the world from 1.18? Yeah, when Caves and Cliffs started, we, I started season three because we had an unfortunate season two death. So that led us into here. And uh, it's been fun. I've been really enjoying this world. Are there a lot of signs down here now? Yes, yes, there are. I, again, like this, I think it's going to be one of those where on my next video, I'm going to just ask people to leave every single leg prevention idea that they have and just comb through all of that and see what we can do to fix this up because spawn is getting to the point where it's near unplayable. Like I can go in and grab blocks and get out and just not really show the footage. But if I want to show the footage of it, it is getting, I mean, y'all can see it in the stream. Like it's, it's getting a little laggy here, which is very unfortunate. It's not even one of those things that I'm like really sure how to fix. Yeah, I like we could wax all the signs. We could do. I'm gonna steal all the leg tips from your comments, dude. Yeah, I. I also want to just like, I think I might reach out to Linksy and see what he does, because that man has like a billion entities in his world. He's got thousands upon thousands. Oh well, that's fine. We don't need that. I can just not be there. Um, I have armor stands everywhere. And I even have the entity calling mod installed, which I thought would fix it, or I thought that's what he utilized. But no, he somehow is even better than that. Like, we, this used to be stacked tall of chests up there, and we took them all out, and it took us from 30 FPS up to 50 FPS, like, on average, and that, that helped a lot. That was, that was a good call to do. I also don't want to get rid of the animals. I like having the animals around and everything, so there, I feel like there's just something. There's something that I missed that is causing a lot of issues. I mean, this 
might be potentially part of it. <laughs> Where did it went? Oh, this I made on my birthday, right? That could be a little leg. <laughs> oh, that's bad. That's a lot. That's good. That's that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Why are you waxing signs? Uh, some people said it actually helps with lag in the world because it make it takes them out of a pool of being able to be edited. So it's like not waiting for something to happen to it. So we're we're trying it. Because if you if you have a sign in your world right now, I'll show you right over here. And you walk up and you right click. It allows you to edit that. But if you put honeycomb on it and then you right click, you can't edit it. So this apparently makes them a little bit smoother. I don't know. That's what we're going with. When are you going to make another SOS video? One just came out on Saturday if you missed it. But outside of that, we'll have a new SOS video probably releasing this coming Saturday. Uh, I just I just finished recording it literally five minutes before starting stream. And when I say literally there, I actually mean quite literally. Um, so that'll be out when it's out and uh yeah i go on vacation after after the stream ends I'm, I'm i'm gone i'm gone for the rest of the week so going to find some sunshine and a little break from all of the internet very much needed you haven't made a potato field in a while no i've been kind of big on the wheat field game i'll be honest i keep catching myself being like maybe another wheat field another wheat field yeah let's do another wheat field I wonder if I, there's like a, because I feel like overall, I don't add that much detail out to these spots. Like when it comes in terms of like how much micro detailing you can do with entity based detailing, I don't do much of that. It's not like I'm putting armor stands and using those all over. Like some people do to make crazy details, but yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, my friends, if you're over on the YouTube side, please be sure to leave a like on the stream. We got 1,200 people in here and just hit 600 likes. So we're still we're still less than just technically right over 50% of people have left a like on the stream. So please be sure to do so. Helps me out a bunch. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have you seen the poisonous potato update? Yeah, it looks really funny. I appreciate that they did that. It's one of those. I guess I haven't streamed since that came out. Uh, it's one of those that I love. Because you can see, I think Pix said it earlier. He and I were chatting about it last night. and But he was saying it's one of those things where you can look at the devs and see how much passion and how many fun ideas they have behind the game. And then it also comes in, it, which is twofold. One, it's like, wow, they could add all these things to the game. But then it's two of how much control that they actually have over making sure everything they add into Minecraft fits the vision of Minecraft, which is hard to do. Like, and it's really cool that they're going through and doing that uh, and really making sure that every update and every little hey, thing that they help. add to the game Covering hoppers with furnaces is here. Reducing chests plus item frames plus armor stands plus signs plus minecarts plus animals and the two biggest at lighting bugs and flowing water and lava. Flowing water and lava, interesting, okay. I appreciate that, thank you. And Jack, thank you so much for the donor. That's very nice of you. Uh, Huberay, thank you so much for the Prime. I do appreciate that. Missed that one. Slagathor, thank you so very much. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I, I think we can definitely do... Doesn't... Don't composters over... I mean, I probably have more cobblestone than I have wood right now. But don't composters also work over the top of hoppers to help slow that or to reduce that lag? We got all these guys in here last time. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'll, I'll keep trying some of those things. But yeah, like uh, we could jump down. Merchant Guild. We got the Path Academy. Path Academy. Did I do a bunch of signs out here? No, I did it. I did it in one of the drafts, and then I removed them because I wanted this thing to look really cool from far away. Still. All right. I promise we'll actually start mining dirt at some point today. I know y'all are super, super excited for dirt mining. Compost server hoppers is a must. Okay. One sec. We're going to sit. 
I did full body day yesterday and my legs are killing me. And then I went and did a bike ride today and oh, I thought it would help. Pleased to meet I thought it would help. Mini Tigris, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Anything with an inventory will help. The smaller the inventory, the better. Compost are only at one slot, so it can't be better than that. Okay, good to know. We'll see. We'll see how this works. If anything, we could just be going for a super secret advancement of how many pieces of honeycomb can you put on signs. Should we do that as a live stream? We just do leg prevention live stream. Because <laughs> I think back there, I actually don't have a way to get back to that side. I guess we could just go through here. Probably all of this needs to have some... I'm so tempted to go in free cam and look where those are. Okay, yeah, we could come out here and do a bunch of composters and things. That like that that's all available to have stuff put on it. Do I have any? Maybe it Oh no, my villagers! My villagers live in there thousands of days! No! You murdered them! Those are gonna be the villagers that inhabited Please the city! Too. How could you kill those? You gotta be kidding! Oh man! Well, I guess I can finish decorating that floor now. Those villagers have been there for 5,000 something days. Oh. Well, there's a little lag prevention. God. Less chests, just remove the leg. Yeah, I mean, all those are pretty much full for storage. I like that. I really like having a lot of melon blocks if I want them, because I want to start using them for landscaping just to get that pop of green. Oh, yeah, I could add an overflow for the iron farm. Did we do that? Maybe we could do that today. They're following me. Iron farm overflow is probably a good call. Oh, I already did over there. Ha ha! Bro, they are hunting me. One moment. One moment, please. I'll be right with you. I can't kill you until the next update's out. I'll, I'll be happy to murder you many a time in the next update. Thank you. One day they'll drop a potion instead of giving you the effect. What are you drinking? Matcha. A matcha latte. Ooh, yeah, there's a few in here. I was really getting into decorating with hanging signs because they're colorful. Again? Oh, that's the one in the boat. to see what your difficulty level is in that chunk. Dude, I don't know, man. I mean, where is difficulty in here? Where's difficulty? Oh, local difficulty. 3.74 right there. Hmm. 
Do you think you'll build a graveyard or catacombs on your path? I think a catacomb build could be really, really fun. I just need to find a way to transfer that into a really cool video, to be honest. Because as much as I would love to be able to do that, I'm not sure how to make that hit on the YouTube. That's that's the part that I like. I have so many ideas, like I mentioned earlier, that I have so many that I want to do. But I th they seem to be ones that I can only do in big, grand, massive ways to make them hit the way that I want them to in the algorithm, which is a little bit of a struggle sometimes. But yeah. I think it is that as we get away from the spawn chunks, because we are surrounded by so much more stuff than we are when I'm back at spawn and my house, like this is just so much smoother. Like down here, we're, I mean, we're getting 70 FPS, but like we have so much built up around us. Spooky vibes, maybe not a Halloween video, but a bit spooky. Oh, for like the uh, da, 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 doing, we need to build that forge out still. I really want to do more videos or just more time where we come through and just add random decorations. But I think most of it's stuff that I like want to do in a creative world, like a, and just like draft it out and have full unlimited inventory to just go crazy, making it look super, super beautiful and then bringing it into here. So I don't know. Ancient city graveyard. <laughs> I transform an ancient city into a catacombs. No, you honestly just leave it as I transform an ancient city in hardcore Minecraft. Dramatic. That's what we could do. That's, that's nice the way to, to meet get you. it. <laughs> interior episode part two could be fun. Yeah, I think doing another hundred days of interior challenge could be cool to do again. I think that could be really fun. That, that was a fun one. I, I really enjoyed the end result of that. And I have consistently really enjoyed looking around and seeing all of the stuff that we built. Like that was very, very fun. Being able to come back and see everything in here completed. I really, really liked how that, the, the result we had after that. This is my main hardcore world. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. It also might be partially that we are trying to put like every farm in this area underneath a different building. So maybe I need to start moving farms out of the city and make the city more for just decoration vibes and storage roomies. Okay, we're almost done running through the city. I don't know if this is helping at all. People on the internet say that it will help slightly, so we've got to try it, you know? The internet would never lie to me. I don't know if y'all heard that, but... Somebody with the loudest... Loudest motorcycle just drove by. <laughs> Apparently, putting wax on a sign will make... Will make the sign itself lag less. Because it's like not waiting for updates or something. Okay, yeah, y'all did hear that. Oh my gosh. Dude, some of the neighbors that live here, I don't I can't tell if it's new people moved in or what, but oh my god, the cars, dude. They are getting loud. I don't want to be old man who yells at clouds, but you know, like loud cars, so annoying. So disruptive. It just makes me think that whoever has them is just so in, in like insecure about themselves that they have to be do this big look at me moment. I can't do it. I, I never. If anything, I want the car that I drive to be quieter. <laughs> How bad are Seattle drivers? You would think that it would be good. Oh no, hides. <laughs> Liz, do you have a really loud car? <laughs> It's one of those things where if you buy a car and it's naturally loud, that's fine. But the people who go aftermarket to make their car louder, that I don't understand. I, I And I would love for somebody to explain like the appeal of it, but I just, I can't. Loud cars are fun if it's loud for a reason. Yeah, I, but it's always people with like these old, old really just like not great cars that they've just 
tricked out the engines of and the outside of the car looks terrible but the inside is just i mean probably really nice but they <laughs> nah so loud no reason okay uh frame check frame check 60 pleased to meet you 37 it's something maybe it's the villager cave If you're not okay with graphic images, close your eyes for the next 30 seconds. It could also be the maps, yeah. But all the maps are locked in, so they should be less laggy than not. Warning graphic. Still got two in here? Yeah, we still got two in there. <laughs> it's fine. Totally fine. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, I eventually I would like to start moving villagers to different locations in the world because like this doesn't look the best. I'm never going to get rid of these, but I want to create like a massive stonemason trading hall somewhere in the world for as an example where we can just have like a hundred something stonemasons out there mark them all with the trades that they have organize them based off of the terracotta colors that they trade and i just think that could be really cool could whack honey blocks underneath your trading hall ones too like the ones sitting in the mine carts they're just chilling in the mine cart, so they can't move anyways so i don't know if that's good or bad but they're they're all sitting in mine carts. Now we know why he hasn't built a police station in this world. I mean, like, any title you can think of, like, that's me, so. Look at the tree. It's so pretty. I love all the glow lighting up there just Please kind of too. lighting up the canopy. Ah, it's I love that view at night. I really wish I was braver and actually stayed up at night more in this game, but nah. Pleased to meet you. I think I found your problem. Yeah, I know. We should do some more murders. Burb with a knife. Thank you so much for the gift sub. Uh, Fluke, thank you so much for the prime. Smokey, thank you so much for the gift sub. Dispatch, thank you so much for becoming a member. And Rifter Battle, thank you so much for the prime. World Tree looks so good with the big branches. Yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm very happy with how it turned out, especially at night. It's beautiful at night up there. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, right. That's a, that's a good little round of lag prevention. Where did I get a spruce trap? Oh, I know where I got it. I know where it came from. Am I not allowed to swear here? We would prefer if you don't. Okay, so. Empty shulkers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. We'll see how long it takes to fill some of these. What does the world tree look like at night with shaders? It looks really good. I will say that, but we're probably not going to catch it. We got work to do today. Oh, iron farm. True. We should do that. You're right, we should do that. So we need a dropper. You're right. We'll we'll fix we'll check out the iron farm. We'll do that. Then we'll then we'll go on. Let's see. What is it? I need a dropper. I need a I have a photo of this on my I always forget how to do these, so I uh 
useful contraptions. Item unloader. A comparator. We need a repeater. We need a redstone dust. And we need some bricks. And we need some fire. Which we can get fire in here. And that. And then I should have glass in one of these. Yes, we do. Do we have any magenta? We do. Just to make sure it's on theme with every... Where'd that glass box go? Okay. So the statue of yourself in the center of the city. You know, I do think my ego is pretty big, but I don't know if it's that big. <laughs> I don't know if I'm right at that. I saw a few people asking where they can send leg advice. Want me to put up a temp channel? Uh, I will probably just wait until... Yeah, we could do a temp channel. That works. That works. Yeah, just like a full general channel. Probably fine. Do I have space in here? We need to break that, turn that hopper towards a dropper that's going to be going Y'all are going to hate me for this, but I want to hide it underground because then we don't mess up the outside. Break that so it doesn't trigger anything. Oh, what? No, I'm looking at. I need a minecart unloader pulled up. That's. No, I want this. Oh, I can still do this with these things. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 it's almost like I have a million empty shulker boxes I can just throw junk into. Um, and then I need you. I need you. I need some observers. And I need one sticky piston. We're going to do that. We're going to actually drop you down again. I'm just trying to get it away so it doesn't start locking hoppers if we do end up taking a bunch of iron out of here. I guess this will only turn on ever if it's uh, being used, which it most likely will not too much. Sorry, brain. Brain fart. Uh, and then we go, comparator looks at you. Comparator then sends repeater signal out into this with observer that will look this way. And then we do observers coming back that way. And then that will pulse onto there. And then we just need to get hoppers that will connect all the way down, which I'm just going to run them up here. And that will start unloading things. Slowly but surely, all of that should be going into the fire. Actually, I'd use this somewhere else so we can... <laughs> it's so noisy. We'll just toss those over there. Uh, and then all of the poppies and everything and the bone meal is very much overflown. So that's just going to keep going through here. And that's a job done. It's just going to cycle through it. It's going to take like a year. <laughs> he finally dug dirt in the stream. It just took us an hour to get here. Wow. Hey, I did say we were going to mine some dirt today. So, you know, oof. You, you best believe you're welcome. Actually, that dirt we want. The rest of this can all just go back in here. Oh, I forgot. You can go in there. I need you. You can go put the glass back in there. Okay. We've got 29 dirt already. Look at us go. We are zooming. And that's going to go for 
like a year because every single hopper all the way up to there is fully backed up um did i before just so that we can be smart here did i one make a route to get up there i don't think i actually did i think i can go through the ceiling yeah i can't Ooh. Trying to make these spawn proof. Okay. Hmm. It would prop because <laughs> we'll wait, wait for this to clear out and then we'll redirect the hoppers one block lower to here and then we'll do composters across the top of that. <laughs> Right now, I don't think it's uh, smart to do that when it's all full of iron going all the way back to here. Because <laughs> even this is trying to get more into there. It is completely overflowed. That's so funny. Fix that one. I did. Okay. We'll, we'll deal with that later. It's fine. It's fine. We'll come back. It, it needs some processing time. It's got to empty. Can things spawn on composters? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'd assume no, because it's open on top, but yeah. You can also optimize with pots. What do you mean with pots? Make what spawn proof? Can you, art? I don't know. They're spawn proof already. Well, we're just double spawn proofing then. It's e we're even better. We're so, so efficient. We're double spawn proofing. Yeah. <laughs> Pleased to meet yeah, you. Yeah, easy. Vilana, thank you so much for the gift sub. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can you give tips on how to build? I think the biggest thing is, especially if you're just getting started in building, just keep practicing and keep just trying new things but like being intentional about what you're trying i think is a big part there are four creepers right here there are no longer four creepers right here <gasps> there is still one so i was thinking to get started here because the plan is just kind of keep clearing out this space of all of the dirt one now that's actually going to be nighttime that works out great because it's actually easier and less mobs spawn inside here when it's nighttime but i'd like to clear out these trees because i i understand how terrible it looks um so we're gonna work on clearing some trees first and uh just bear with me while we get the first few so we can have some blocks to actually pillar with What happened to the castle of the bridge? Have you ever finished it? Uh, yeah, it's turned into a map room. So we're still building out the interior as we do more map roomy things. Um, but I haven't expanded the exterior at all. We might do that sometime in the future, but who knows? Tips on making custom trees. I think the biggest thing for me is I started I looking at actual pictures of trees or i think what is even better is literally walking around outside i know scary uh and looking at trees is huge because then you can kind of watch and see how they move in the wind and how they kind of look and how the sun comes through them i think that's all very important for making custom minecraft trees is you got to capture the airiness and the open feel that a lot of trees have. I think a issue that a lot of Minecraft tree builders 
struggle with to get that point of I can't or a lot of builders in Minecraft struggle with trees because they don't try and make it look airy they just try and make it look like a tree and you don't want to make it look like a tree you want to make it feel like a tree and there's a difference to that there it's a very slight difference in it but it's there is a real true difference in that so I think if you're trying to really learn how to make custom trees like studying real life trees study how the branches work and how all of that goes don't just do the minecrafter thing of okay so i have this tree that basically how mojang builds trees for this lovely game that we play the small oak trees are a great example of how to not build custom trees the large oak trees are actually a good example of how to start building custom trees because if you look at the small ones it is a stick of wood and then it just goes into leaves around it there's no branches there's nothing connecting it if the leaves weren't there it would just be a stick which is not true that's not realistic so if you're trying to learn how to build custom trees trying to learn like how to make the branch networks realistic and how to make that and then build your leaves around your branches don't just say okay i want it to be a round leaf shape like build your branches then put the leaves around the branches uh luis thank you so much for the raid welcome on in everybody longhorn thank you so much for the 40 months my dude i appreciate that miss purple thank you so much for the two months love being sub don't forget to like on the youtube side hey i appreciate it we're almost at a thousand likes we're getting there slowly what's the best decoration block in your opinion my favorite decoration block that I don't use much because it's such a pain in the butt to get is uh, Heart of the Sea, not the Heart of the Sea, Conduits. I think you can make so many cool little magical, mystical details if you could have a bunch of those. Um, Favorite, like, decoration block that I use a bunch, I really like beehives. I think beehives are a very, very cool block. You can either have it looking like a little crate or you can go full in on it and have it look just like a building block, like a framing block. Uh, I feel like that's one of the blocks that you're, is starting to be utilized so much by builders recently. I really like that you did a custom birch tutorial on your second channel while well, building the custom birch tree. I think it'd be really cool to see more videos like that. Yeah, second channel stuff all just comes if I have free time. And unfortunately, right now, life is so busy that I don't have free time. I'm almost done ra wrapping up personal tax season, which is going to open up a little bit more time. Uh, and then after, like, I've just been prepping to be able to leave for vacation tomorrow. So getting things ahead there. So, I mean, ideally, I would love to get back to having more than one a week second channel videos where like one is the commenter question of the day of the hardcore and one is a little tutorial something or another but unfortunately it's uh not enough hours in the week and uh i already work too much and i don't want any more work <laughs> add any more work hours in a week once you like the youtubing life and like content creation life is one that just sucks so many hours out of your week it's insane somehow you're just like oh yeah i feel like i didn't work that much then you add it up and you're like oh i worked 60 hours this week nice cool that's great that's probably shouldn't be the average but here we are you get ever bored of minecraft or building yeah definitely I think that's okay, though. I don't think it's the end of the world. Like, I'm definitely in a phase right now where I don't really want to be playing Minecraft unless I'm, like, working on a Minecraft video. And I think that's totally fine. I mean, I'm having a lot of fun with all of it, but at the same time, I'm also like, yeah, this has been cool. This has been great. And uh, I'm going to log out and go play some other games. I've been obsessed with Stardew Valley recently. I've been playing Stardew Valley. I've been... the been playing wow um oh my gosh he's just zooming uh so yeah i feel i fill my time outside of work with i try to do other games that are not minecraft because then i feel like i'm just living in minecraft and i don't really want to do that 
basically did that for the last five, six years of my life. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to do a little something different every once in a while, you know? Change it up. Keep it fresh. We just came from a guy remaking Stardew Valley in Minecraft. Oh, wow. <laughs> Was that for the raid that came in? That was fun. Yeah, I started a new farm uh, a week ago, and I am already almost in winter of year one. So, ee. I'm on track to finish the community center bundle by uh, winter day one, though. I'm pretty happy about it. I literally just need the winter forageables. I have one part of a bundle left. I've already got all of like the friendship bundles on the bulletin board done. Oh, it's I'm zooming. As long as I can get both of the spawns for the winter stuff, like I, I actually am done on just day one <laughs> of winter. I can work on getting to Ginger Island, which I've never done before. I'm very excited about that. I start I stopped playing before Ginger Island was ever added to the game. And so I'm finally going to be able to get to go out there and check it out. There it is. Oh, well, that's why it's there. Couldn't really see that. Do you dream Minecrafty stuff? Uh, very rarely. Very, very rarely. See anything up there? Stardew is amazing, been binge playing it so much. Yeah, I've been really, really enjoying the new update. Is this despawning now? I can't tell. I don't think it is. Is it? Yeah, it is. That just despawned. Right, we're almost done with the trees that we have right now, and then we can keep expanding a little bit farther back, and then be easy. Be a lot easier. We'll put the torches down on the ground as we're going and keep it safe. Sorry, it is so dark on the screen right now. This is what happens when you build a custom train and you don't put anything underneath it. Apple. Do I just bump the brightness up a little? Make it so y'all can actually see in here. If you were to add something into Minecraft, what would you add? Ooh. I think since I've been playing Stardew again, I'd love to see more animals that you can do things with. Or more more to the animal side of the game than creating a pen and putting animals in it. I think there could be a really like I don't I also don't think it needs to be here, but I think they could expand on like animal relationships. Because right now, the only really leveling up you can do for animals is for your horses to make them faster, jump higher, or have more health. And then after you do that, you're kind of just like, you're done. The rest of them don't matter anymore. But if they had some way of to meet you. making it so that you could like gain experience for a mob, same way that we can gain experience for ourselves, and then that, that mob would like level up and get stronger or something, and so you could... Like have a horse that you that gets faster over time instead of purely just using it for like breed breeding stock to make another faster horse. Oh, where did you come from? You just said I was following I was following you. Come on. I don't know, I feel like for me that's a Ooh, I did hit that spider. Whoa! Oh, sniper. Take that log back. Thank you. I have so many oak logs in this world now. So many. We have more than two double chests of oak logs. Oh, 
Oh, free dirt. Pleased to meet you. Uh, we'll get this tree. And then we'll get these last ones. I want to start going that way more. Parch, thank you so much for the 19 months, my dude. Hope all is well on your end. Doing good over here. Can't complain too much. I mean, it could, but I, I won't. I won't for... I can always find something to complain about. I've got, I've got a certain set of skills to do that. Butterflies in Minecraft. I would love little birds flying around. I think butterflies would be cool, but little, like, blue jays... Little robins, woodpeckers, and those just did more stuff moving around that would add life. Because right now, I mean, I don't want the Minecraft world just be full of junk all the time to the point where it lags. But, like, if you go swim around in an ocean in Minecraft versus walking around in the overworld, the ocean is just... There's so much more happening down there. Pleased to meet you! I think the potato snapshot that they did for April Fools is also a really good look at what could possibly be coming into Minecraft. We were talking about it a little bit earlier, but I think it's one of those where maybe one day they'll take some of those ideas. Like I saw the grappling hook that was in there. Pick says it's very easy to get yourself killed while using it, but I think that could be so fun of just having something. The same way you can use a channeling trident in the rain. Like being able to have a grappling hook if you're going through the mountains or big caves to use something to like spider-man your way through stuff like that could be really fun i did think the potato minecart car that they added was that's probably a little much we don't need that and those flying machines as cool as they were probably also don't need that in the game but outside of that all pretty cool stuff Will there ever be a new season of Empires? <gasps> uh, in its current form that we've had and done things in the past? No. I I will never fully say there will never be something like it again, but how you Please all knew you. Empires is not how we want to do it again in the future. I, a lot of us don't really want to be that heavily tied to storylines and things hence why sos was very much no storylines uh well no deep lore or anything like that like you can still have a story and tell a story with your character in sos like i'm not saying no like the rule was uh, was never that but there was very much a rule of you can't bring super complex lore into the series and because a lot of us kind of got to a point where we're like, we actually don't really enjoy doing this that much. So, yeah, I, I, I won't, I won't say there's a full no, but I'm also not going to say, yeah, yeah, I'll be here for sure. So I think, uh, I, more than, oh, much more than half the group does not want to do Empire season three, just like restarting the way that we did and I'll, I'll say more than half but i'm pretty confident it's almost every single person like some people would be okay with it but they're not like super hyped about the idea of just running a season three without any major changes There's also a lot to live up to, and then also a lot of, like, pre-known stuff that no matter how much we say, yeah, no, that's not canon, The it very much becomes, what's the term, fanon? Like, the fans have made it their own canon, which uh, sometimes becomes difficult for viewers, especially on the YouTube side, to separate what's canon and what's stuff that they've written into Tumblr lore. Where'd the sheep go? I have an 
haven't heard of that mod now. I'm sorry. I am very much not in the know with the mine modded Minecraft communities. Head cannon. I thought head cannon was like actually legit. I like fan cannon is. I, I Pleased to meet you. I could be wrong though. Maybe head cannon is something that the fan community has made up. I'm I, I'm not the person who would know that information. This cave forest could become a cool thing with a big lake and waterfall, nice dark lighting. Maybe one day, maybe one day, we gotta finish the train on top of it first. This is a really cool tree. Rana, thank you so much for the 14 months. Glad you enjoy everything so very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Any other logs in here? Doesn't look like it. We'll see. I probably missed one or two. I think it's about time we can finally swap to mining dirt, though. this axe away don't need it anymore for a little while maybe head cannon is what each individual person comes up with and it can be very different okay yeah yeah, yeah that's fair so it's basically the theory the theory crafters of the 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 people who are like what if it means this all this what do these dots connect together like that would be head cannon where the actual artist actually hasn't confirmed that those connect together. Are you all ready for your sunny vacation? Haven't even started packing. Very ready. Oh, we did. We missed so many. <laughs> hey, real. Hey, TSB, thank you so much for the dono. I appreciate it. Now that's got to be all of it, right? Right? Surely we got all of it. Okay, this is a good chunk cleared back here. We can. I think we can start just taking the dirt. Haven't even started digging. There's a few things that had to happen before the dig, unfortunately. I kind of forgot the forest was still here. I thought I had cleared it out already, to be honest. But I hadn't even started. My goal is to gather so much dirt here that we can slowly just like catch up. To the um, there. So that we can just catch this up and moving it all the way back. But then I because I also want to expand the train going that way a chunk. So we'll see. We'll see where it all lands. But my, my hope is that we can kind of be mining the dirt and then moving it up instead of being all the way stuck down here in the dark. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Uh, let's set up all of our boxes here. That's going to be kind of our random junk box. We're going to start with... probably end up with two random junk boxes and now that it is nighttime it is actually weirdly safer to be mining dirt so yay oh we missed a lot oh yeah i gotta fix that that's gonna no ufo trees i know we're underground but we can't have any ufo trees can't do it we mined more dirt though oh we missed two of them in here giving building with what vibes a little bit Oh my gosh, we missed a lot. Did we have another item building with whip? Yeah, 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 we did. Okay, yeah, it, it got added. It was added before we quit that world. Dirt has been mined. <laughs> 
Wow! I know, it's amazing. You're welcome, you're welcome. Keep it real! Head cannon someone's personal ideas of what lore has happened. Fan in the community's collective agreed ideas of lore has happened. Uh, okay. Keep it real. So I wasn't fully off with Fanon. There we go. Thank you, Chrome Holster. I appreciate the the explanation. It's like I know Fanon's a word. Ah, jeez. Get crit. I'm telling you, sharpness on the sword, smite on the axe. And then when you don't want stuff, you can just tap zombies. But that also works on uh, skeletons, right? Yeah. <laughs> Are you doing a 6,000 day movie? I am not doing a 6,000 day movie, but there is a new movie releasing on Thursday. Very excited. Very, very excited. It's a new type of movie. And I think, depending on the result to this and how it all goes, I think this might be how I want to do movies in the future for this world. We'll see, though. It's all going to depend on how much people actually enjoy it. How do you blend your newer builds with your older one? That's what annoys me about an older world because style changed over time. That was a big issue I had with the building with Whip World that I had to just kind of grow to accept that there are going to be some older spaces in the world. And that's kind of why a lot in that world was me fully doing a project. And then when I was done with the project, that is when I would um, move on to something new. So I wasn't really going back and putting old builds right next to each other. Like right I wasn't putting new builds right next to old builds. They were mostly fully completed zones. And sometimes I would go back and be like, all right, we're going to mass update and bring this zone into the current world or do like a big expansion off the side of it and make it look like new town. But I think it's I think it's kind of fun sometimes to see your old builds next to new ones. Be like, this is how much I grew. Uh, cause you can be like, these old builds look terrible. We all do it. Every single one of us, but you have to, you have to also be okay. Like you can be like, yeah, this build sucks, but you still, to me, the most important thing is that you still acknowledge that I liked this build when I made it. That is, you don't have to say, I like this build now, but you have to be able to say when I made this build, I really, really like how it looked. And if you can get yourself to do that and you can turn that into your mantra instead of I hate this build and turn your mantra into more of I really like what I did when I made this. You don't have to like it right now. That is not a requirement at all. If anything, there's so many old builds I've done that I hate. But when I made them, I thought they were so cool. And they're done that. Yeah, <laughs> we all have. Um, but I think that's a very, very important thing that a lot of Minecrafters don't do. They very much see old build that they made and they're like, this is so ugly. I have to tear it down right now. It's like, well, you can sure you can tear it down, but also also enjoy that you actually made it back in the day. What if I never like my builds? That's okay. Then kind of change it to, uh, I don't like this part about the build. Cause if you just say, God, I hate my Minecraft builds. Start focusing on, I hate the roof that I make. And then you can be like, okay, I hate the roof, but what can I do to change it to make it into something I do like? And then instead of looking at the whole thing and being like, all right, I don't know what the heck I'm doing here. Like this whole thing sucks. I want to blow it all up with TNT. One, make a copy of your build, then blow it up with TNT. Then two, come back to the original copy and say, okay, so we're trying this. 
I didn't like it last time and I've decided that I don't like it because the roof. What can I change the roof to be to make it in something that I like? And then if you still don't like it because of the roof that you added, then you can kind of look at it in terms of it. Okay, so I don't like it still, but maybe we try this this time. Yeah, see? It's still making progress. Uh, TSB, thank you so much for the dono again, my dude. I appreciate that. And Arnav, thank you so much for the prime. Morning, popping in to check on everyone. Your love, worthy of everything good. Remember to eat, sleep, and drink lots of water. You're doing great. Lots of love from your local internet stranger. Hey, thank you so much. Your name actually is local internet stranger. That's, that is actually your name. It's a great name. I saw somebody on Twitch yesterday that was random Twitch viewer. It was like, cool. Someone yell at me to stop progressing my term paper. Mm. You got it. You can believe. There you go. Kale got you. I thought I was holding a shield for a second. I'm so I'm getting so used to not having a totem from playing on SOS. It's also making me realize like how much I don't really I'm gonna still keep the totem for like insurance. But also like I've been doing some stupid stuff on SOS. You'll see in the next video. Um and I still have yet to die. <laughs> I'm like, maybe I'm actually better than I think I am at this game. Because I just don't really need the... I'm not really... I feel like when I started this world, I was like, I need to get a totem right now. Because I'm going to die. And now I'm just like, yeah, I mean, a totem's nice to have. Because it makes me feel a lot safer. But like, I'm like, I'm chilling. I'm coming up on five days played on SOS. Like, which is well over 100 hours. I haven't even, I haven't even come. No, I actually did come close to dying earlier today, but I survived, so it's fine. Even the baby zombie will still get a few hits on you. Creeper really helped boost your hardcore skills. Honestly, I think MCC did. <laughs> All like the movement things and the strafing and everything to learn to attempt to learn how to combo so I could PvP people on MCC like that has actually helped a really good amount with learning. I don't need a potato. I would rather have oak log. There's no poisonous potato dimension. I don't even want it. Yeah, I know. I, I'm in full netherite armor and over here. I'm like, put my totem in SOS. I'm just like, there's an evoker over there. Charge! <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I was like, we're just going to go. Why? Because why not? Like, somebody will save me if I get out of there. Honky donkey, thanks so much for the 20 months. Good to catch a stream in between my screaming into the void wa awaiting you. an echo. Let me know if you hear anything back. Have you tried screaming louder? I was going to do a quick little triple tap, but I guess not. Cool too. I lasted 10 days in my first hardcore world. Hey, I lasted a thousand days in my first hardcore world, and I lasted 2,000 days in my second hardcore world, and now we're at day 6,400. So we've already passed the double it. So we're good. We're, we're, we're chilling. Hard chilling. I also think my hit timing has gotten so much better. I think that's been a big thing. Like I'm I'm pretty consistently able to combo mobs now. Oh, 
I do. I do at some point need to go on a Gemini Te PvP training arc. Just... If SOS wasn't hardcore, I definitely would start just challenging people to... I feel like Sausage would be a fun one. We're just... just wooden swords. He, he would happily sit there for like an hour just fighting each other with wooden swords. Because I feel very comfortable in PvE in Minecraft, but not so much in the PvP side. Especially not anymore, as I haven't done an MCC since the April Fool's MCC last year. When they do come back, I hope to do a few. They're still on break, aren't they? I haven't, I haven't heard anything. I have not been paying attention. Oh my gosh. Yeah, my PvE skills really, really good. I'm really, really good at this game. <laughs> uh, really good, really, really good. The water on the hot bar, missed that one. So, dirt mining. I just kind of like, I was, if I had kept falling, I was moving towards getting the elytra. It just took, I was not ready to be falling. <laughs> Reaction times were not turned on there. I kind of registered. I was like, okay, no lava below me. We're fine. If that would have been the second totem pop in this world. <laughs> when the next hardcore episode coming out, it's going to be a bit. I don't honestly even have an answer yet. I wish I did. I was originally going to try and sprint to get a hardcore video done before I went out on vacation. And then I decided that uh, I wanted to do an SOS video instead. So that'll be out. There's a hardcore movie coming out on Thursday. Then there's another SOS episode coming out on Saturday, most likely. Um, and then when I get back in town, I'm going to be starting the next hardcore episode. Uh, and we'll be focusing primarily on that uh, with a little SOS recording with the next event launching. But I, I'll, when I get back from vacation, I'll be fo full focus more or less on getting a hardcore video done because I really want to get one published. Hidden dirt. Pleased to meet you. Nick, thank you so much for the four months. Love being inspired by you and the members of SOS. That's awesome. That's very cool. SOS has been a really good group. It's been fun being able to get to know a few people that I kind of knew before. But they didn't know super well. It's been, it's been a good time. So I'm glad I'm glad y'all enjoying it too. Oh da, 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 so much dirt. Hey, for an hour and a half, we've almost filled two shoulder boxes of dirt. Just took an hour plus to start filling them. I'm making sure to not get any grass blocks too. Like I want only dirt here. We gotta even this line out. It's gotta it's gotta be fixed. We gotta have a straight line so we can just clean cut back and forth. We've done this in the past. We know what we're doing. If, you, if you're not here from the old, the old mountain Mondays of the ancient past, 
we're very, we are very familiar with how how this functions. Got to get a clean chopping line. That's very very important. Murdering a zombie also very important. I'm so oh, just a child. Mountain Mondays, yes, those were the days. Ancient ones. Ancient ones, Havoc. Alright, we'll save those. We'll just come back. Just like the Deep Slate Mine. I th I remember doing that Deep Slate Mine. Uh, like where... I, no, oh, no, that was Hardcore Season 2 when Deep Slate got added. Uh, but I remember doing that mine to go down and like get the deep slate and thought it was so cool. I just I thought that thing was so such a massive build at the time. I was like, I built this giant mine to get all of this deep slate. This is so cool. And then looking back, I'm like, I do that in like a day now. My Minecraft building speed has went up so much over the course of the series for like how much I can feasibly build in a day. That was a bat, but it's a bee. Very different. Commonly confused, though. A little bit of late work, and now my dinner's cold. Oh, no. Uh, an actual whip stream? Live stream? I never get to watch a live stream live. Ah! Welcome! Yep, the sneaky random afternoon stream. We're just chilling, chatting, mining dirt. As you do. This is just for the ASMR. I know there's a lot of ASM, ASMR uh, watchers here. You know, they just they just love the sounds of dirt breaking. All right, so our path right now is a little too long for a single inventory. At least for the extra bonus junk I do have in my inventory. I guess I have three slots. No, 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 no. See how much overflow we still need. That sheep really wants screen time. Gosh, some fans, you know. Just never leave you alone. <laughs> the mountain is so cool and beautiful. Very great terraform job. Yeah, I'm excited to keep working on it. It's I I feel like I got it to a cool starting point, but it's not really like fully established yet. Is there light through there? There is light through there. Excuse me. Eh, eh, eh. Stupid spider. First try. <laughs> First try. Yep. Actually, I don't want to sleep. I don't want to. I don't want to reset the day.
Okay, so this line, if we go four blocks deep, kind of fills it all up. But let's come back here. Dang, sheep's even talking now. Let's see if we can take this all the way over. I know this section is a little messy, so we might have a little bit of loss to the overhang. But we just got to get it all, see what we can actually get out of it. that dirt there. I don't really care too much. <laughs> Crazy flying skills. I know. Thank you. I'm really good. This is a really dirty stream. I know. I'm so sorry. It's so dirty. Getting through it slowly. That's weird. And we missed a tree down here. Look. What? Oh, look what's over here. Can you die? Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Can you? No. I'm done. No, not you two. I'm done. Did you not hear I'm done? Thank you. I started playing StarCraft again, and like my mouse skills, just because I have one of those 12 button side mice for like the gaming mice that you can get. And I have been like, I've been getting back into StarCraft a bunch recently with a old friend of mine, and I've been playing a lot of games. And it's like, I'm just like, my finger is like flying around the mouse, like getting all the different key binds and everything like that again. And I'm slowly remembering it. Woof! It's up. It's. I feel like I'm like relearning how to use it ag again. It's been fun though. Uh, I'm a Zerg player mostly. I've been playing random right now because I'm pretty close. I didn't realize until I was looking recently that my account is actually fairly close to the thousand random team wins uh, achievement in that portrait. So I'm kind of just like, well, I think I'll just play random until I get that. Cause that's a cool portrait to have. I was like, this is the way if I get a win, I get a win for the, the individual race. And then I also get one for the random. So I'm quicker to getting all of them up there. So I think I used to just play random so much. When I'd be playing random games with people. Knew it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've i always... Uh, God, we got queued randomly against a team of Master League players yesterday. And my buddy that I'm playing with, he he's good. He's a uh, Silver League right now, but I think he just dropped his rank down a bit. I, I'm still not fully ranked yet because I've just been messing around in unranked to relearn how to play the game. And we almost beat him. Like, we were really close. I was, I was amazed at how close we were to actually winning. I was like, do I still got it? I think I still got it. It's been a it's been about a decade since I've played, but I think I still got it. It's like either it's really easy to get Master League now, or apparently I actually can still play StarCraft. For those who don't know, I was obsessed with that game when it came out. Pleased to meet you. 
I have like thousands, thousands of StarCraft games played and was pretty high Master League before I stopped playing. Love to watch a StarCraft video from you. Dad, it's, it's just clicking. You know that meme of the guy, the like gamer who's just going super hard that everybody just like throws over footage of somebody trying to clutch something? That's that's like me. No words. No words. Only call outs. Like if you didn't understand StarCraft at all, you wouldn't understand half the things I'm saying. If not like 90%. It's been fun to mess around in though. It's been nice to have like a another off stream game that hits the competitive energy that sometimes I'm looking for in gaming. <gasps> Dirt, we can't leave it behind. I still like it. <laughs> I would know what's going on. I would know. StarCraft is still big, surprisingly, especially in South Korea. I might be wrong on this, but I know StarCraft Brood War used to be, it might still be, but it used to be the national, the national sport of South Korea. I don't know if it still is the case, but I know it used to be. But yeah, South Korea was... Like, I would play on the US servers just because I'm located in the US. But then, uh, and that was me, like when I was at like prime Starcrafting, I was Master League, just totally just going for it. And then I don't know if it was like server lag or what, but I think they're just better. Uh, me and a buddy decided to create Korean accounts and just see how far we could push ranked on uh, South Korean servers for StarCraft 2 because they're just known as being the best StarCraft players by far. Um, and we couldn't get out of Platinum League. Like, we, we couldn't even... We were a solid two or three leagues behind where we played on US servers, and we literally could not push above that. Like, thousands, so many hours spent in it, just queuing 1v1s just to try and get out of there to see if we could even make it to Diamond League again. And we, we literally couldn't. Like, those were some of the most insane games I ever played, and I could not, not even close. <laughs> we ended up, I, like, both of us ended up just throwing in the towel and going back to US servers because we're like, okay, <laughs> we're getting way too sweaty here playing this game. <laughs> Mining dirt here, man. Why you gotta do that? Oh, who's gonna hit the shot? Nailed it. it was back in the day, they're insane at the game. Yeah. I used to like know a few of the pro StarCraft 2 players. Uh, that at least like played on the US servers because I used to play against some of them in ladder and so I'd follow them and I just remember one time the guy who won BlizzCon that year uh, Dignitas Select he pl or played for Team Dignitas his like, actual name was in game was Select and I remember queuing against him and just getting absolutely destroyed like the dude just I, I looked like he was just casually playing and just completely destroyed me like I had zero chance of winning that game from the moment it started I like I should, probably should have left just to save my time but it was cool to be able to like go against him and then I watched him win BlizzCon two weeks later and I was like that was the guy I played I ate that guy yeah shovel durability is still good uh but I was just like I'm up here playing against the BlizzCon champion like this dude's the best player in the world like no duh he beat me <laughs> Are the instructions somewhere how to download the world? I'm new to all this. Uh, yeah, so the world download is available to paid members. So you need to be a tier one member or higher on any platform, YouTube, Patreon, Twitch, whatever you would like to support on. 
And then from there, you can join the Discord, link your account, and you will get access to a downloads channel that has it posted in there. And it's just, it'll just be a download link that you can get. Is that, that is efficiency four. All right, efficiency four instant mines. Everyone got humbled in StarCraft every now and then. Dude, for real. For real. It was fun, though. It was a fun, really, really fun time playing that game. It's one of the few games that every few years I will just go back to and happily play. I'll play for like a few weeks. Be like, oh, I still kind of got it. And be like, cool, itch, scratch. Time to log out. I'm done. Because <laughs> then I, I, I definitely like still get to the point where I like that competitive itch starts itching again. And after a while, I'll just be like, start, the second I catch myself starting to research build orders to see what like the current meta is and everything, I'm like, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> I need to stop it here before it, go, <laughs> before it goes too long. <laughs> like I need to turn this off, deactivate that part of brain, refocus on job. <laughs> Chill Stardew Valley gaming to wind out at end of day. I don't need to be doing... Uh, it's just like studying build orders. We got a new shovel. We got a new shovel. We're good. Yeah, self-intervention. Yeah, very much. I'm like, I've been down this path before. <laughs> I, I know where this one goes. I mean, y'all kind of saw that side coming out when Green and I were playing Minecraft Legends when that game released, and he and I streamed it a few times, just playing, and you, uh, Green is, of all the Minecraft YouTubers that I know, Green is the only one who also is that obsessed with strategy games, and he's good. He's he's really good, too. Um, especially, he plays Age of Empires a lot, like Age of Empires 3, Green... I don't know if he still is, but back when we were chatting, like, throughout the Empire's uh, Hermitcraft crossover event, like, he was playing, like, 5, 10 Age of Empires 3 online games a day. Um, and so he and I would queue, just play a few, because I was like, oh, I know how to play Age of Empires. I can get in there with you. I definitely didn't have, like, the knowledge, the game knowledge he had, so he was winning for sure there, but I was like, I, I, um, I tried convincing him to get into StarCraft once or twice, and he, he never... He never wanted to. Uh, town, uh, townies, thank you so much for all the gift subs. Beast I do appreciate it. Anonymous, thank you so much for the gift sub out to Havoc. And Crispy Dorito, thank you so much for the seven months. Also, Lando, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, I think I missed it earlier. Beast Jenna, Beast thank you so much for becoming a member. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The Uno stream, dude, that Uno stream was so funny. That was such a terrible game. Oh my god, that was so buggy. But that was, it was funny. It was funny. Yeah, I, I think Grian, if he got into StarCraft, would very much be in the same boat that I get in there. Which is not great. <laughs> Our brains work pretty similarly when it comes to those types of games. Pleased to meet you. Oh my god. I'm missing every shot. Ah! Uno the movie is always great. Can't explain it. Oh god, they made a movie about Uno? Why do I want to watch it? Pleased to meet you. Jinxy Heart, thank you for. Is that 10? Thank you so very much. And Forks, thank you so much for the Prime. Pleased to meet you. Thank you so very much, Jinxy Heart. I really do appreciate that. That's very kind of you. 
I try to steer hey, clear of super competitive games like that. I get hyper focused on them to the point it's not healthy. Yeah, me with every WoW patch. <laughs> I'll be the first to admit it. I, I know. I, I know. I know my faults. Thank you so much. I appreciate all the support, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Pleased to meet you. We're getting there. We're getting there. How many is that? Almost five boxes? Almost halfway through the boxes? Pleased to meet you. A hypo train? <gasps> Pleased to meet you. Guys, we cleared all the dirt to the edge of the trees again. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. It's only three layers. I need to go one more. Pleased to meet you. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, wow, what the? Jinxie, was that another? No, that wasn't another 10. That was the same 10. Jinxie with the 3,000 bits. Grayson with the biddies, the 1,000 biddies as well. Thanks so much. Blocky with the 27 months. Jewel with the gifts up. Thank you so very much. Hello, hello, hello. How we doing? How Pleased we doing? To meet you. Oh, you see those Pleased clean to meet you. crits. Zombie couldn't make any progress. Yeah, break the bushes. Okay, too much. Too much. Sorry, tone back. Tone back. Oh, yeah, I need to drop the game again. Hey. Is that a little too dark? Is that too dark for y'all? Do you prefer it being a little lighter? You, th you, you won the hardcore world? What? Finish baking my cupcakes. Ooh, fun. So much dirt, so much dirt, so much dirt, 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 A little cave. The darkness is okay. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. If you're reading this, keep working hard. We all enjoy the content so much, and the haters can suck an egg. <laughs> if only I could tell them to do that. But no, I'd get in trouble. Don't care if lighter or darker is as long as consistent consistent this headache is dumb oof i'm sorry it's kind of cool seeing the little bits of light coming through because of the way it bleeds don't need that we have a we have a little bit of iron i don't think i need more It's 2 a.m. Why are you up so late? Why are you up so late? It's 4 p.m. Why are you so tired? It's only 4 p.m. There's a child. I'm holding the flesh of my friend. What? He's holding the flesh of his child. I want that dirt. Thank you. Hey, for real. Oh, 
Wait, who's up there? Who's that? Ah, oh, it's the sheep. That stupid sheep is back, man. Need to reset chat again. It, of course, is broken. Thank you, YouTube. You done did it, dead. Nathan, thank you so much for the donut. I appreciate it. Jewel, thank you so much for the gifts. Uh, I got you on that one already, but thank you again. I appreciate it. Can we stop with the zombie horde? No, I don't actually want a zombie spawning system right now. Thank you. Poisonous potato update for Rupert Fools in Minecraft. Yeah, 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 yeah. It looks cool. The floaterer. I would love me a good floaterer in Minecraft. One day we might have a good floaterer. I don't think it will be anytime soon, though, but you never know. Could have a good floaterer in Minecraft. I don't think they'll make it canon, though. What are your dirt stats? Probably pretty, pretty up there now. We we can check after we get this next drop off. Or we'll check it. We'll check at the end. Bro, you hit me before you even came around the dirt. Skeletons in their wall hacks, man. How am I even supposed to play this game? Oh my god, did y'all see it? I have to show you. I have to show you something. It's so funny. I have to show you right now. It's so, so good. Where is it? 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 I have to find it. I have to find it. This I'm is from Pix's stream this morning. It's so... I love this. This is so, so good. I don't know why I randomly thought of it right now, but I did. And I don't know if y'all have seen this. But th this is Pix's stream this morning. <laughs> Worried about, like, breaking it's a shelter real. box and then lightning What's your striking favorite it. In build in Minecraft 10? I have not watched much of it at all, to be honest. So I couldn't even tell you. B what B Dubs is doing is really cool. Uh, yeah, oh, just listen Destroying to this. It or this is so good. So uh, the voice I'm line is very important. About, like breaking a shulker box and then lightning striking it and destroying it or something. <laughs> His face. His face is so good. It literally happened. It literally. <laughs> just happened and that was not like sausage using a trident on me or something stupid it literally just happened the chances of that happening are so small i hate this game <laughs> uh, it's so good how's he done that <laughs> oh my god it's so funny i saw that earlier and god it got me it got me, man. That was, it was so good. Nathan, thank you so much for the dono. I'll be honest. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen much. I've seen what Scar and B-dubs are up to, and that's kind of all that I've really followed with Hermitcraft so far this season. Like, you're talking about Mojang not adding anything that would instant kill you, then surprise Creeper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly, May. Thanks for bringing that one up, May. All right. Gotta bring that memory back up over here. I see how it is. Fine. Yeah, isn't that so funny? The odds of that happening. The odds. It's just so slim. So, so slim. One, because I thought lightning had a higher chance to strike at higher... We're not falling down a hole again. We're not doing that. Like, higher altitudes? So the fact that it hit him in the middle of the hole where he's digging down another chunk within the hole like i thought lightning in minecraft was more likely to strike higher points i could i could be wrong on that also the fact that he doesn't have a lightning rod around there i mean it's probably a pretty large area to cover with a lightning rod so ah uh, the the pit the pit that is a pit Gotta keep you on your toes. Come down here, skeleton. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Stupid head. I missed. 
I missed twice. That's my bow. That is my bow. Okay. That goes for a uh, not terribly long way. Whip buys bot viewers. Yep, you got it. Exposed. I have definitely to fulfill my ego and want a stream of hundreds of thousands of people in them. I have been buying so many viewers. Yep. That's what it is. It's you and a bunch of bots in here. That's that's what it is. Please, everybody, robots, please come out and beep boop and send your robot emojis to out yourself as being a robot. Thank you. I'd appreciate it. We just need to know how many bots, definite, real, real bots are in here. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate Yeah. All the beep boops. Thank you. Yeah, we've got to go through. Yeah, we got to clean them all up. Got to make sure all the bots are here. So, yeah. This is how you summon the bots. You just got to call them. They're so advanced nowadays. If you ask them, they will actually come through and say they're a bot. See? See? You're, there you go. You did it. You found, you found, you found out. There, everybody here is a bot. <laughs> You know what's wrong with YouTube? All the bots, yeah. I know. <laughs> Is there something wrong with YouTube? I don't know. Bot number 4,362 ready for service. Yeah, uh, could you go contact the other 3,000 bots that didn't show up today? Because we're only at a thousand viewers right now, so if we have our bots that are we're in the four thousand range, I feel like, I guess maybe, the few of them might have today off. It's some. I know you probably all have rolling holidays for, bots to make sure you get your time off and everything to visit your robot families, but it's fine. Exterminate. Oh, we got a Dalek in here today. I, I thought I canceled the orders on all the Daleks. What's the lore behind the world tree or is it just a giant tree that exists? Uh, I'm there's not like a huge lore behind it other than I really wanted to make a really dang cool tree. It has lore in terms of like Obviously, it's held together by magic, but in terms of kind of like written down lore behind it, no. But it is something that the much of the like the reason the city is there is because the tree is there. So they've like gathered around this magic tree. And like people from all over the world have flocked there, which is why we're going to have like a dwarven district and we'll probably... We're going to have, like, a massive school dedicated to preserving nature. Yeah, your AI won't let you jump down here. <laughs> See, that's a dumb bot. But all of you bots in chat, you're smart bots. You beep boop when you're told. Oh, look at all the bonus dirt down there. I was admiring the dirt. Leave me alone. Your name is so long, I'm not even going to try reading it out, but thank you for stopping by. Happy to have you back in the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I think the verifying won't work, yeah. Well, actually, now we verified all the bots, so it's cool. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look at all this dirt. 
Love. We got upper dirt and lower dirt to claim. Look at all the dirt. It goes back. It's a good day. It's a good, good day for dirting. Honestly, we've been making pretty good progress. Have returned to announce. Like in subside. Oh, so, so close. So close, Eric. So, so close. Maybe don't subside, but like you could subscribe. <laughs> so close, Eric. You almost had it, bud. You almost had it. <laughs> Thank you for the donut. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well today. Finally back on Twitch. Yeah, we, I've been doing this multi-streaming thing. I think we're almost a month into it now. I, if Something. Maybe three weeks? Something like that? I don't really know 100%, but it's getting there. It's been real. Do you like Doctor Who new season soon, May 11th, Disney? I tried watching Doctor Who in college, but I just never really got into it. I think I I think that ship sailed long before I got in like tried watching it. I know like a little about it just through I had a few friends that were super obsessed with it in college. Um, but I, I just never really got into it. I don't watch a whole lot of TV though. Like I I'm I I'm not super into TV, I guess. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to break dirt, man. I don't want to be fighting zombies. I just want to break dirt. That's not dirt. You're not even holding dirt. You can't even bring a piece of dirt to me. Worthless zombie. Oh, hello. You brought friends. The whole gang's here. About a month and a half. Has it really been that long? Dang. Okay. Right, 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 right. Pleased to meet you. Uh, Eggman, thank you so much for the 16 months. Favorite castle in Game of Thrones? Imagine spelling errors. Me. Yeah, Eric, it's fine. It's fine. I, I know you intended to say subside. Just ask me able to chill. Yeah. If that's even what it means. I don't think that's the right definition. Now that I said it out loud, I kind of regret it. Uh, favorite Game of Thrones? Mm. I always like the... Like, just purely on the aesthetics of it. The one in the veil? And then also, um, what was the f the one really focused on the farming? I'm so bad with names of things. All right, that one got me. That one got me. Was not. I didn't even hear the footsteps coming in. Too much dirt breaking. <laughs> um, what am I? What, what's that one I'm trying to think of? It had the old grandma lady. Tyrell? House Tyrell? Is that it? I don't remember. But I was I like the aesthetics of those ones that they had. I, I just full on. <laughs> oh, the sheep got itself stuck in a little cave. <clears throat> there you go, buddy. You can be free. <coughs> Tyrell? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like those. The, the, like, aesthetics-wise, those are pretty cool. If you like Game of Thrones, like the architecture behind it, check out Westeros Craft. They're a Minecraft server that yeah, they have a really big Twitter account. And I think they have a YouTube channel, too, where they do tours around things. But they're trying to rebuild the Game of Thrones world from, like, the true, like, of what the books describe it as and everything. So some things are a little different than the TV shows. 
but they do a good job and they've done a really good job of translating it into minecraft so if you really like game of thrones definitely go check out what they've been up to they have some cool stuff over there No, no, not, not the dirt. Eh, my stack of dirt. My stack of dirt. Oh no. Full, full. We are at the point where we can now fly completely across because the dirt has been pushed back so far. All right, we'll probably finish that one and then call it there because we've been almost, that'll be two and a half hours of definitely dirt mining the entire time. Yeah, you gotta go to go to sleep and everything. Go 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 to bed. You can come back and watch the rest of this later. But if anything, we'll probably go for another 15, 20 minutes and call it. I've been doing a lot of talking today, so I'm trying to not totally kill my voice right before I go on vacation, yo. Okay, uh, let's get this last tree down. Okay, I think that'll just be like one more strip. We're kind of getting a whole inventory with a whole whole strip along this entire way more or less giving an inventory of dirt trying to be smart trying to be smart It's only 17 minutes past 12 in the morning. It's not that late. <laughs> Dude, I couldn't... I Actually, I can. I can. I was going to say, I couldn't tell you last time I stayed up till midnight. Uh, but no, I stayed up till midnight on Friday playing Stardew Valley. And oh my god, I was exhausted on Saturday. I am a full-on adult when it comes to a sleep schedule now. In the saddest way of... I, I'm, I'm in bed by like 10 p.m. Like 10 p.m. I am tired. But I'm up by like 7:30 ish. Like on the week, even if I don't set an alarm on the weekend, I'm, and not even because of the dogs. Like I'm up before the dogs most days on weekends, and then they wake up because I wake up. But yeah, I am. Uh, I'm usually up by like 7:30 on the weekends, and I get out of bed at like eight. a sad life we'll do another two blocks just to shave it back a little bit more because that that'll definitely fill us up by the time we get to the far far side and then that, that's a good even point I could easily stay up all night, especially with the clocks going forward as ruined my sleep schedule as well as exam revision. Oof, yeah. I feel like the student life is so much easier to stay up late or at least like 
when I was younger, I was, I would somehow, I don't, I still like, I feel like now my body's like making up for all the lost sleep I have, which I know isn't a real thing, but I need to swap that on. But when I was in school, I was doing like, I was one had sports practice seven days a week, minimum three hours each day. And during some sports season, if there's a if it was high school season for swimming, like I was doing double practices a day, Monday through Friday, with swim meets and everything. Like I was doing, I was swimming so much. Like I was, I for high during like high school season when it was also club, I was in the pool like thirty something hours a week, and still somehow on the weekends I'd be like one or two a.m. gaming and chilling, and then wake up at like nine and be like, yeah, I'm fine, let's go. And be like weekdays would be up at five to get to the pool for practice before school started then go to a whole school day and then come back after and be like okay i guess i'm supposed to do homework and go to my next practice now this is fun Whip is taking back every piece of dirt in the world again. Gotta build a custom landscape somehow. Might as well take the blocks from underneath it that nobody is ever gonna see. I feel like I'm very slippery right now. Young Quip actual bot, dude, for real. I, I still, like, I'm just like, no wonder. I would just like crash all the time. I'm still amazed mostly about how I managed to get any amount of homework done during that. All right, we'll come back and pick all that up. There we go. We just got a little bit more to finish, and I will do that later. The egg sleeps when it has to and wakes when it wakes up for work. <laughs> The egg has no bedtime. I don't know why I went full on boulder on you there. Well, that's two more dead shovels. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Into the ninth box of dirt full. Which is what? It's like just 1740 blocks per shulker, something like that. So we're probably pr we're over 10,000 for the day. But somebody asked earlier what the dirt mined stat. No, times used is 195,000. I placed 195,000. I've also mined 195,000. Dirt is my fourth most mined block in the game. Not even up there yet. Picked up 255,000 because we've also mined 171,000 grass blocks. It's kind of nuts that it's so high. I guess I've just been like combing off the tops of areas for so long. But our shovel, our shovel's almost at 750. That's crazy. We have 500,000 more uses of the shovel than our hoe. The axe not even being at 200,000? That's kind of nuts. I thought that'd be higher. That's pretty sweet, though. That's pretty sweet. Stats are looking good. Stats are looking steady. 1.14 on the, the good old netherite pickaxe. It's up there. What do we end in today on? 6441. Nice. Hey, for real. Robin, thank you so much for the dono. I do appreciate that one. Drink some water. You need water? Dude, I got a, I got a full-on jug over here. I've already drank most of this once today. Workout this morning killed me. Let's 
said what I said, Stacy. I said what I said. All right, my friends. That's going to do it for today. I got some stuff I got to wrap up before I can leave town tomorrow and all that cool stuff. So thank you all so very much for being here. I really do appreciate it. But we are going to be ending a good old streamy stream on that note today. Get some, let's get some good, more some good, I want some good vibes. There we go. That's some good vibes. Or the numbers are screwed up for my eyes. It's, yeah. No, it's, uh, the stats when you get over a million, they just start overlapping. It's real, real busted. Is Mog Swamp streaming right now? Is Mog Swamp streaming right now? Dude, he's placing dirt? You can, you're telling me we can take from a stream where we're mining dirt to go to a stream where he's placing dirt? Oh my God, yeah, of course we're raiding him. If you're over on the YouTube side, you're more than welcome to tune into Mogswam's stream and all that cool stuff. But my friends, that's gonna do it for today. Let me, let me queue up this raid. Let me queue this, let me queue this raid up right here. Mogswam. There we go. Okay, sending y'all over to Mogswamp. Thank y'all so very much for being here. I really, really do appreciate it. Y'all are absolutely amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And with that, my friends, check out the YouTube stuff if you haven't. New videos coming out this week and all that cool stuff. Subscribe, leave likes. Thank you so very much. Follow us on the Twitch and all that cool stuff. With that, my friends, catch y'all on the flip side. Bye.